Nigeria president of this group not for 18 straight years. 18 consecutive years. And that person is no less a personality than the renowned architect and member of our DOT, our founder president, Ashiwagi Festus, and then a Deshino. Oh, Paso. Oh, Yes, you have to come here. On a day like this, Not too long ago. 
And of course, he is the chairman CEO of one of the greatest hospitality outfits in this country. And before now, it used to be a reliance. Reliance is reliable. Reliance is reliable. Very, very reliable. the club. It is with great pleasure that I welcome our board of council members, elders, management, the entire member of our session of friends, and all of you, very distinguished members of the press, gentlemen of the press, of this press conference, and now a week long program of events for the celebration of our 45th anniversary. Presidential night and the induction of new members of our eminent club association of friends. It is one program we do annually, and the significance of this one is because we are celebrating a very large month. We are qualified for the existence of this club. Most Exciting and highly fulfilling. Highly permit me to recall that the Association of Friends once again was established in 1978, about 45 years ago. The back of the club came up on the vision of some young men, eight of them, who decided in 1978 to concretize a fledging relationship and dominance of Lagos to social space into a sustainable institution that would not just outlive them, but at the same time withstand the test of time. We are so happy today that we are gathered together this hour to tell the story. The young men, some who are now in their who are now late, while others are in their eighties, were determined to actualize this vision at their second meeting, named the Club Association of Friends. And of course, you will permit me to please read out the names of this eight eminent personalities. The very first person is the late Alaji Shifts Laiman Konopi of Konop of Ebala, who passed on very, very recently, precisely on Sunday 22nd of October, and he served as the light chairman of this club. And may I kindly, at this point, request that we stand up a mini silence in this honor. May his gentle and kind has us to rest in peace. Thank you. Number two, man is our own Kanya president, Achiwajo architect, Festus Adeliki Adeshino. He was president for a record of 18 years, as mentioned by the social, nurturing the baby club to adulthood before stepping aside. He is right there wearing the sky blue outfit. That is our young president who ensured that the foundation of this law was solidly laid. And just as the word of God will say that when the foundation is faulty, what can the righteous do? Thank God for the solid foundation our Panya president laid by offering the service club for 18 consecutive years. I think he deserves a lot of And of course, it 
keeping very close to him here is our own Ashwadi engineer Akinawa Akoni Adiola, whom the social refer to as our gentleman. You can see that gentleman is making up for him. And some of us call him the Grand Master. Our partner by so articulated, so calculated, and come to him with whatever problem that relates not only on social matters, even as far as engineering is concerned, the rest assured that you will not leave him without getting answers to your problem. Please give him an honorable <laughs> Because the fourth person is Oba Matai Irawa, the second president of the club, who is late. The fifth is Prince Aide Adeshino, who is also late. And the sixth is Evangelist Kola Soyagolo, who did the legwork of reaching out to the friends at that time and was highly instrumental to the successful launch of the vision which we are telling the story today. Because the seventh is Mr. Sunday Adigo. Number eight is Otumba Kunle Adesoya, whom we used to call Liberty, also of blessed memory, who served as the pioneer general secretary of this club right from inception. This young man met for the first time in the 50s. We a whole lot of fun were not born there, but I also came into this world in my 50s. And I know if I tell some of us who were not born in the 50s to raise up their hands, of most of the people here will definitely raise their hands. But I see that very much all that, and we don't want to go into all that. When he was struggling to get admission to secondary schools and technical colleges across the country, after their secondary education, some of the young men sailed out of Nigeria, to the United Kingdom, Canada, United States of America in the early 1960s to pursue further education. Even outside Nigeria, the conviviality among them was stronger as they met every weekend after hard working with this. That is why the government said that there's uh, no, uh, no work, any work can do play a big job in our world. Of course, the regular meetings went on to the original part Nigeria saved and sang. In 1978, this gentleman came together again at the home of Watumba Kunle Adesoya to celebrate the official introduction of his wife. At this event, the idea of forming an organized club came to the fore and it was well received and accepted by all those that were present. Almost immediately, a date was fixed for the inaugural meeting at the Ezekiel Street, the Kenya residence of Alaji Sule, one of the the live chairman. This first meeting was in this history, as members who attended this were in very high spirit as they agreed that the club would practice democracy and its own way and with an overwhelming yes vote and the club was named Association of Friends. Praise the Lord. Without any stress, they are both named founding fathers, those became the pioneer executive committee members. Now known today as the management committee member of the session of friends. So what I'm trying to say in effect is that these elders that formed this law 
where the executives of the club are in session, at in session. And by the special grace of God, to those of us who are used to this in singing called ancient and modern. So we are referring to them as our ancient management team. Yes. While we have right beside you there the modern management team of this club today, ably led by my humble self. Of course, to become a member of our session of friends, we have to be recommended by two friends among other qualities before admission to the temporary member of the club. That constitution precedence is maintained as an integral part of our admission policy. To the glory of God we have in our membership today, top quality and respected Nigerians. Among them is an elected former governor, royal fathers, retired and serving public servants and of course my vice president who should have been here is a senior special advisor to the current governor of Lagos State, Papa Jerry Fala and he's no other person than Dr. Apoladi. Captains of industries, retired and serving top security chiefs, honorable commissioners, directors, senior management members of corporate organizations, high ranking politicians, and entrepreneurs. Ours is an equal opportunity club where any member can acquire to any position once he can demonstrate capacity and their competence because nothing good comes easy like any organization the key to our continued leadership is discipline because we consider discipline to be a very core value that should be sustained jealously we adapt our constitution with, which provides the rules and regulations for both the management and all members of our great club. It is worthy of note that every development that we have embarked upon from the inception today has been fully financed through the generosity of our members. While we are not averse to grants from government, as a major social club, we are yet to have such privileges in the past. Of course, I need to also at this point let you know that we also have a patron in the person of Sir Dr. Kesintin Adebu Kola Adebutu who has provided his resources from time to time towards the development of this club and very recently he gave the club well over 15 million naira. I think about five years ago there about to develop the sports center we have at the basement of this club and to be of great interest for us after this press conference to take you there and see what we have done. And that's why you can see our founding fathers there all in their 80s. Even though people like me are struggling to be 70, another two years I'll be 70. But then 68, I don't think I'm looking to graduate. And you see their youngish too as a point of contact for my own growth in life. And I'm also praying for all of us that are in our 80s, all of them in their 80s, that they look so young and vibrant. And every Thursday, which is our sports day, they come to the basement to exercise themselves. And I'd like to equally extend that largesse to some of you 
that are willing and ready to be part of our club because what we are also doing here today is also serving as a membership drive of the club to so the young men like PM and that my friend who taught uh, Mr. Abdos. Is this still around? He's around. Mr. Abdos, and yes, he said we are not a secret. <laughs> I'm sure he has to relax. That was oh, relax. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, the time you just came, you were so uncomfortable. <laughs> So the idea for appeal to our members at various levels of government to partner with us in the execution of major projects aimed at touching life for the people resident around us. For instance, one of the items on the program were for the fifth anniversary celebration, the launch of the 100 million naira development fund for the general renovation of our clubhouse. We want to appeal for an quantifiable support from the government to ensure the success of this project. And of course, we already have a design for it. So I want to believe for those of us who be part of the celebration in due course, you will see what we're talking about. And I also want to believe by the special grace of God, by, by this time next year, by the special grace of God, where we have to live on the world and you know the external and other facilities that we wear in you know. Let me at this point seize the opportunity to welcome into our name one of our past president, membership number 056, and Adi Prince is here. I did it. Please let me give you a as it is what is my guest this time. It is from what to bring to the item. Ah. And of course, for your information, I need to let you know that this gentleman, very dedicated, past member of this club, is membership number 056. If you multiply that number by two, you get my membership number. One, one, two. And that's the truth. It's zero five six. You know about the center of the excellence. Because the word of God says, people pray for lack of knowledge. It has come to a point where we need to challenge our government to tell us what they are doing and what is expected of them for the masses of this center of the excellence. All this will take place right here, and the time is. 11 a.m. from on Wednesday 23rd. And of course, I haven't done the day one and day two. The day three is Friday. There will be an interreligious prayer session because we believe very, very strongly in prayer. Just as the word of God rightly mentioned that the effectual permanent prayer of the rational has been led to us. So we are supposed to be here for an interreligious prayer session. And hosting of friends and well wishers, the special senior guys, those as I have mentioned, Friday, we always look forward to it, and that's why we always say, Thank God, it is Friday. This event will be in honor of the Founding Fathers. That's part of what we intend to say. Thank you to our Founding Fathers. I will put on this structure, which we are all building on and trying to improve. And so while there's it very much with us, I think they really deserve to be celebrated. And that event will also take place here on Friday, 24th of October, by the special grace of God. And on Sunday, which of course, the grand finale, 26th of November, the 45th anniversary gala night, presentation and an induction of new members will go and that will start from 2 p.m. inside the same auditorium. I like this fully or not the auditorium. At this event, the pioneer members of the club will be honored because we believe very sincerely under the present administration that honor will be given to who honor is due and it is better done now but we believe very strongly we must make pay when the sun shines. While the special asset development plan shall be launched and a new member will be adopted, 
in a mixed program of fun, laced with sumptuous lunch, dinner, beautiful meal, and a stable of one of our members. I mean, from Fue Fuji King, Dr. Adewale Ayuba. The chief launcher of the Association of Friends for the Twister, Ahmed Akitunde Balogu, a very distinguished member of our very great group based in the United States of America. And for the benefit of those of us that are here, this young man came in, I think he came to Nigeria around March, April, and part of the conditions to join in as well as to host the Suya night. He brought his friends. He hosted us, spent quite a reasonable sum of money to host that night, close to about 600 to 750,000. At the end of that day, he donated to millionaire cash. And in addition to that, we told him that before now, we used to have window units of these split units on the wall. So then we did about 14 split units in replacement of the window units in the very following week. He donated this 14 split air conditioners in replacement of the window unit. And that's why I also want to help him thank and appreciate him in attention. So that's the spirit of our show. We always get people of like mind who come in to do wonders in this club. And this young man is going to be on his way to Nigeria very, very soon. And you're also going to serve as a chief launcher while other eminent Nigerians will be here to complement its uh, effort. And of course, other eminent and dignitaries, including royal fathers, captains of industry, are also expected to be part of the anniversary gala. The distinguished gentlemen of the press, they are on the board of trustees. Elders, management, and the entire members of our great club and station of friends, thank you all for coming and for granting me your attention. God bless you. It was a place for the place to start a play before moving out. Then she, on Friday, came to the show. And every Sunday evening, those of all men that were in Lagos would converge and uh, go to Ambassador for tea time. Tea time starts in the afternoon until about 10 p.m. I could remember when I was in the Petra College, there was a day I went to Ambassador, this was 1958, and uh, I was wearing my school uniform. They were wearing Petra Ambassador, the friend of mine was living close to me, so that club, so we go there. Change our place for what we call the uh, meetings in church. There was one they called the uh, seven days and seven brothers and seven whatever. They were buying it then for one pound five, one pound ten, and things like that. This evening, my brother who came from New Day, a lawyer with his friends. They came to Ambassador and the judge saw me and I was the one through it. And I went back to the fence, went back to the, my coaches. I was there. The body school. So they came here. On getting there, they saw me sleeping. Seriously. It was only about 30 minutes. And they went to my uh, the 
by 1996, this building was completed. And uh, the opening was uh, just around the June 1996, when the opening was The fact of the association of friends started this edifice. And that edifice is what we are seeing. There has been a lot of improvement, especially coming from members who are starting to regard with their annual money to develop their people, donating all sorts of things, whether electricity, fun, lighting, whatever it is. You have just heard what the president mentioned about the member living in the US who donated some uh, air conditioners and things like that, and is coming back here to be the chief Yanja here. That member was very proud of it. So, you can see a lot of people they don't exactly know exactly what we're doing here. Some are saying it's a cult. Until when they enter, you see that it's an open material thing. There's no cult to see here. We have to come and enjoy ourselves. Even though we, we don't use the usual open of the door to the outside except we are invited to come to a temple. But then, there is no secret, there is nothing here, it's an open door once you are invited to go. So, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we are in here, some of you who are first uh, visitors, to see there is nothing in it, and as is in the first. When we put, we should not call it. Association of the good work club because if you are interpreting and friends, we don't believe in what is the club as say, people are saying. And that's why if you look outside, you just look at some of the friends that no work club to be. It is intentional. So you are welcome to ASU. It is not a cult. It is an open event for everybody to come in and go. Except that we don't, we do not admit ladies, but they are welcome as the guests. I think I have said it. Sir, and I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity. As I sat down here, you cannot believe it. But it, 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 it was as if I was actually 45 years ago. Yes. I could remember everything exactly how it all happened. Can I say something at this point that it is true that Beds of same feather flock together. Really flock together. Those eight, eight people, including myself, actually came from various different backgrounds and environments. I was an Abekuta man, an Egba man, although. Lagos was in the eye of everybody. When you want to be seen as a civilized person, you want to be very close to Lagos. Yes. You want to be seen as civilized. You want to be seen as that guy of that guy who likes to enjoy himself.
Lagos was a place for enjoyment. So even those of us that came from Abekuta, we always looked forward to coming to Lagos to enjoy ourselves, especially during our holiday times. Of course, there are a number of our members too here. At the, the foundation members that were born and buried in Lagos. And therefore, you can explain why some of us were too ready to mingle with them so that we can enjoy the goodness of life. You don't need any rocket science to put into it to actually pick those ones that you want to be your friends. In no time, I remember very well that there was no, there was nothing formal as such. But we just found that each time we went out to parties, and we came from, and we came from different backgrounds, whether by design or whatever, we always found ourselves amongst the crowd. We always found ourselves sitting next to each other and staying together to enjoy the night. Pami I think you remember very well. And in no time, people had started recognizing that's them. That's them. <laughs> Can I tell you, gentlemen, that this soon turned into a regular thing. And we found ourselves looking for each other because we enjoyed sitting down together and chasing the girls together and talking to the girls together. <laughs> Perhaps I should let you know that one of the most important things, why do we go to those parties? We went to those parties because we wanted to meet our girls' friends. It was a place for meeting. It was a place for chasing. I think we use the word chasing. We chased the girls at those, that time. Some of them today are our wives. Hmm. From such occasions like that. Gentlemen, why am I saying all this? Today, we are remembering, we are talking about something of 40 years. And I said, whether it is by design, or by God's own direction, we are indeed still best of friends and together. A friend of 50 years, a friend of 45 years, a friend of 40 years, that's more than a friend. We have become family. And we thank God that we were favored with the right set of people. Yes, some of us initially belonged to other clubs, Island Club, uh, Yoruba Tennis Club, um, Koyi Club, and all that. Yes, some of us are still carrying members of the club, as I speak right now. But for a reason or the other, we found we all gravitate towards Aso. Gentlemen, like I said, it's not a day of speech, but today is the time to talk about it. Because God had, in fact, been with us. Yes, we have lost quite a lot of our members. But we cherish 
the memories of uh, doing things together in those days. And it is therefore very pleasing when we say, tell these stories to people that come behind us. Some of them have opened their mouths at gape and said, is that what happened? Just like some people suddenly discover that that place, you should never go near it though, because they, they are called, called, they are called. Yes, in this same hall, I remember the, the, my bank manager who was coming back from Lagos, and I said, why don't you just stop by and have a beer with me at Aso Club? Say, what did you call it? Aso? What? Please, sir, please, don't even, don't talk about it anymore. And he was shaking. He was shaking because I thought I was going to, I had some whatever magic or something that I'm going to make him a member as a cult, as a cult member. You, I, you, I, 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 can't, I can't describe it. That same man who left, who would not be convinced to even come and have a beer with me in the hall, that same man came back about maybe four or five years after that. And I met him somewhere here, talking to a few of my member, our members. I think it was Akiumi, yes, I think he was one of them, who was, uh, who was doing dredging. And he had come to look for him so they can do some dredging work together. And I said, look at it. <laughs> he, he couldn't say a word. But that was the story of our beginning. In no time, people found out about us. Can I say one word if in, if in, in Closing this, closing my remarks. Gentlemen, friendship is very sweet. There are guidelines to keep friendship going. I think we have lots to tell about friendship. But we have managed to survive the ups and downs in friendship. And it is beautiful. And it is therefore my recommendation to all of us, the more friends you have, the better. In any case, I have also discovered that there's no man or woman who doesn't want to relax and have some fun. There's, there's no, nobody. Everyone, everybody wants somewhere, no matter what it is. Whether it is going around the corner to have a have a, a, a beer, or in those days when the uh, stockfish was uh, <coughs> stockfish was something that you don't see all the time, you and you are not allowed to be. When you go home and they smell stockfish in your mouth, you are in trouble because. Some of us are not allowed to even go near it. But we must have places for us to find a place to do some of those things that we are forbidden not to do. We became closer, became nearer, became tight to each other, and we did a lot of things together. I stand proud, and I want to thank all those of you that had been involved one way or the other in making this club what it is today. Gentlemen, our story is not too long. We are friends, and if we keep every word of being friends, we are the better for it. Thank you very much. so secure that it's not something you 
Discipline and the strict um, admission policy of this place. Members were not joining. In fact, they couldn't join. I can tell you that until about 10 years ago, say about 10 years, uh, about, they, are, they were not up to 100 in this place for many, many years. About 32 years, they were not up to 100. Because only within the last five or six years that the membership was sort of swelling off. They were extremely very conservative in admission of members in this place. So that answers your question that what you see is uh, there because of the progress. I mean, you can imagine that as one day, what you told you the, the right of the development you see here has been internally generated. Of course, at various occasions, we have our guests who will donate for us. Coming back to your second question, well, we thank God that as we progress, and our wives, not only now, we have see, they see us because sometimes they come. They are even encouraging their, their children who are married to be members of this club. I can tell you that our former president, his son, who is also an architect, is a member of this club. Our late, our, it's late now, um, Sergeant at Arms, uh, Chief Whip, Kola Wilkie, that's the son there, Tunde Wilkie. Oh, so, oh, so. Oh, so. We look through here. One, and of two, course, three, Prince four, five, six. I'm number five there as a president. The number six was also a president. He's late now. Late uh, Oba Akemi. That is not sitting down there. He's now the financial oh, secretary. He's oh, a banker. Oh, so. And he's now the financial secretary of this club. So, succession comes by itself. And I will see this much coming. I am sure that we don't even. We don't even uh, sort of uh, appeal to them. They want to come to remember because they now see. And for what you read there, by God's grace, by this time next year, something uh, great will happen. This place is going to be totally transformed and you see different things. So that is the plan we have, and that is how progressive we are in this world. And of course, the people that are sitting down here, the legacy they want to leave behind. Thank God that the 45th anniversary is uh, during their lifetime. The legacy they want to live here is that legacy of discipline, legacy of fruitfulness, and the rest. Thank you very much. Yeah. If we want to join, to come in through a member, that member will introduce you. He will be able to convince two other members to be able to stand shortly for you in form of referee who will be coming around for one year, will be observing you. That one year is called temporary membership. You will temporary, be a temporary member throughout the span of that one year. If your conduct is satisfactory, and then we will fit, we feel you can join us. We will confirm, we will improve your in transit your membership from temporary to a permanent member. And at that time, you will be inducted, you will get a number, you will get an identification card, you will get our club's constitution and every other right that every member here has. That's just the process of development. You have to pay the sum of 500,000 inclusive of developmental fees and every other fees, all in comparison, 500,000. And our annual, our annual levy is as of today, 420,000 naira. Then you have to Yes, and um, I, I hope you are getting me. Before, you, before your membership is confirmed, your full membership is confirmed, you will have to post 
So you, are, you invite all of your friends. You want to also meet your friend. You want to know the kind of people you move around with. You bring them around. You post you. You post us as well. We have a swell time. And of course, if it's successful by the by the judgment of the social secretary, then you are, you are up with the then the doctor completizes your membership. That's runs and hotel and other businesses. We are from Reliance Hotel. Those of you who know Reliance Hotel, now Preston is in Kenya. There, the man was 80. We are lucky to have him here. He is always flying abroad to rest and enjoy himself. But you are calling your last week. Worked in the bank for several years before he retired to do his own business. Baba Paonia, eh? they built most of the federal government structures in Nigeria. Central Bank, as an architect, he has a firm that handles all architectures and other related. Um, uh, developmental issues. Engineer sorry. Engineer Akiabiola was a strong man by the Nigerian Ports of Ports Authority of Nigeria. I was in the car with him a few days ago when he was telling me the story of his engineering adventure at the port. I have chosen to introduce all of them so that you know that these are not people that you can wave aside. Aso Father, a strong insurance man. If you name any insurance company in Nigeria, he has been there. He is one of the brains behind the formation of Hub Robinson Insurance here. Yeah. It is now an international insurance com company. So I have said that so that you know the quality of people that comes in here. So, of course, you know me. I am a journalist. I have not done anything outside journalism. I remain a journalist from now till eternity. So, <laughs> next <laughs> question. Out of university. That's that's it. that's that answers your question. Yes, we are now old because we are still healthy and we still want to be part of the fun. But you have the young men joining at the earlier stages, and we pray that they all grow as old as us. When I first went to the Yoruba Tennis Club. And it was my boss that took me there. I said I was not going to stay there, particularly when I saw the father of some of my girlfriends there. I said, no, this is not the club I was. <laughs> Same thing at the other club. My, my lecturer and my professor in the university <laughs> was a study member there. And I said, ah. I cannot be sitting down there. But we have, we have been trained to respect our elders. You don't want to be bringing your girlfriend and um, you have been all, all the things you do at the club. So, but as you grow older, of course, you find your own mates among them. And in no time, I pray that you also grow older to this age. And keep on enjoying. I want to keep on enjoying until I die. Yeah, right, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Take, we take care of everything. You can't be too young to join because there's a limit. We have our own. But for for children of former members, they have a bit of uh, advantage to start early. Otherwise, we must wait until that age. Don't forget, you have to be brought in by people that are probably your own contemporaries, and there must be two. The minimum is two, two members 
for 10 years. When you start to enjoy yourself in life as, a, as, as an adult, you must be an adult. So by that time, by, by, by the time you had another 10 years, I'm sure you are already at the right age. Thank you. They are expecting to join the club. I know that women beings have the tendency in life of growing old. As human beings grow old, so some other human beings are coming up. Do not reduce this membership to old and shape people like this. The people that run this club today are young people. You can save their elders or advisors, whatever name, because since you are members, you are not going to run it. You see me now, I'm 81 years old. You take me for 81 years, I'm asking from the girls. <laughs> <laughs> Right your is. <laughs> so, this is the type of thing. And when, so, to join this club, you have to stand out. And this money you are talking about, money is not for old people, not as if for young people. Money is for anybody that God has endowed with the money. That's what it to do with age. The gentleman that you see, that these people that you see, they are the ones running this club. They are the financial backing of this club. And I'm sure, Tundek may not be older than you. This much this is like no, this one. And this is the truth. But it is the interest they have. And we also want people who are interested in the club or in enjoying themselves. Once you have a friend that brings you here, look at the quality of the people that you are going to mix with, what they do, the type of life they live. And then when you come here, don't think because they say it's a national friends, you can just mess around. No, it's not as it's not allowed. We have street, we are very highly disciplined in this place. That we must understand. And as much as we enjoy ourselves, I just want to add that with that it has something to do with a five hundred thousand naira in Nigeria today is nothing. In Nigeria today, it is nothing because I was I, I was surprised when I went I'm with German, so I went to Germany, I went to Germany, and I gave my driver one thousand to go and eat. And when I got there, I saw what was being served for one thousand naira. It's nothing. You understand me now? So, money aspect of it, don't look at it in terms of money. Or in terms of, uh, if you are interested, you will come and you will be accepted. And of course, there are certain criteria you have to uh, sort of uh, you have to meet. You understand? Thank you very much.